Hey guys, got another malware removal video here for you. This one's called Security Monitor 2012. This is a clone of the old Security Solutions 2011. So it's not really a new rogue as such. What it's done, it's had a bit of a makeover and uh, to make it look like it's a new rogue. Okay, so let's uh, get started anyway. But first off, I want to thank Malware Bytes Forum for the sample. Because without those guys, I can't make these videos for you. So thanks to Malware Bytes. And uh, we're going to get started. So here you can see the get license key. Now straight off the bat, once this is installed and you reboot the system, this is what you're going to get. And the reason for that is they want you to purchase it as soon as possible. So you go here and it will take you to a page to purchase it. Now as you can see, it's quite convincing. It's got a, a couple of different variations here, free year and all this sort of stuff. It is all fake and it's not going to help you in any way, shape or form. It's not going to remove anything off the system because you haven't got any infections on there. This, What this is doing is it's giving you bogus infections to make you think that you need to use this program and pay for it, okay? So we're going to go to the buy now bit. And as you can see, they're asking quite a bit of money. And there'll be a lot of people that fall for this sort of stuff, okay? But don't be one of those suckers and pay for it. So let's uh, close this off. And as you can see, it's got a lovely bit of audio there, which will drive you nuts. So it's also got one that says another virus found or something like that constantly over and over again. But if you want to get the license key, I will post this up here now so you can see it. This is the activation key, so you don't have to pay for it. You just put that in there and this activate will lighten up so you can then activate the product. Now I get a lot of questions, people saying, what does the activation do? Well, it gives you back your system. These type of rogues, what they do is they disable the system to stop you using Task Manager, the internet, and so on and so on, okay? And what this will do is it will allow you to get those functions back. So let's close this off. New virus found. And there you go. It's just constantly doing that. Now, sometimes it scans for quite a while, and sometimes it does this medium uh, security issues found. I want to just quickly, uh, as you can see, it's stopped doing that. New virus found. And that's the annoying noise. So let me just turn it off. So let me just quickly flick through these. As you can see, it's pretty convincing, and a lot of people will fall for it. So let me just uh, do Mozilla Firefox. This is what's going to happen. Okay. So you'll try to browse, and it'll just chuck this uh, security monitor 2012 up, so you can't use it. Now the good thing is, with most of these rogues, they allow you to use Internet Explorer. And that's because they still want to get payment off of you. So they leave this running for some reason. So you can actually go to Malwarebytes or wherever you need to be. Okay. Now I would suggest that you always remove this stuff in safe mobile networking. And I will put the instructions up on the screen now. So don't try and clear it from the desktop. Reboot into safe mode with networking and uh, remove it from there because this doesn't run in uh, safe mode okay it's a lot easier to do let me just show you where it lives we're going to go to my computer here C drive and uh, we're going to go into user accounts and we're going to go into the account that's infected and then application data and then roaming and inside here you'll see a folder called security monitor and there's the infection there okay okay so there's our little culprit there he's the one that's causing all the problems there's also some inside the temp file and I'll show you where that is now inside local and you go to temp and there you can see there's loads of crap in there as well so let's um look at process explorer here now this does allow you to run programs from the desktop without renaming files and as you can see I didn't rename that file it is called Proce uh, proc xp so you can um, run these and uvk runs and so does uh, malware bytes I think let me just check that so this runs as well and as you can see we've got the 
files there. And we could kill this off with UVK really. Um, or we could suspend and run malware bytes and that's what we'll probably do for this one. So let's just try malware bytes here. Now you don't just have to use malware bytes, but it is one of the best tools out there for removing malware. You can use programs like Norman and uh, TDSS Killer and all these other types of tools. Okay, Hitman Pro is another good one. So what we're going to do here is update this. It's up to date. And first off, what I'm going to do is suspend this. Now you won't be doing this because obviously you'll be in safe mode with networking. But I just want to show you from here. Okay, so I'm just going to suspend that. And it will go grey. And the reason why I'm suspending them because sometimes with Process Explorer, when you kill Process, it will kill the back one behind it. But what happens is it will start to. Sometimes some rogues will restart themselves. So I've now suspended that, and I'm going to run a full system scan. And we're getting infections found already, as you can see. Okay, so let's uh, show the results there. But there you go, there are the actual infections. We're going to remove those. Pretty much these other ones were the files that we needed to remove, as you can see. I'm going to quickly reboot. Okay, so that should be the end of that process, and that shouldn't be running at all. And we should have our internet back, as you can see. And there we go. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that helps you out. So, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support, and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them so and i'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys have a great christmas and i'll see you again real soon okay bye for now